This decades-old clip really makes you think. The communists call not only for extensive chaos within the cities, but for putting to the torch every village, every forest, every field, and every barn. The plan is for raging fires from one city to the next. The reason? Well, first, there's the value of sheer destruction. Secondly, it would force us to deploy our defenses and rescue units over the widest possible area. Then they can be picked off from ambush one by one. And the third value of massive fire to the communists is psychological. When at night the only light he has to see by is the flickering red from flames leaping into the sky, he'll become paralyzed with fear and panic as they strike at the community's power centers. Any all-out minority revolution must create a state of crisis wherein almost all of the male population would be forced to remain in their homes to protect their property and family. A few years of violent, sporadic, and highly destructive uprisings will set the stage for the grand finale. America could be brought to her knees in 90 days of highly organized, fierce fighting, sabotage, and massive firestorm. Now, social media is censoring people who are speculating which groups might be lighting fires. And to be honest, you shouldn't blame certain groups for starting fires if you don't have proof that they're doing that. But it's absolutely plausible that it's arson because around 85% of wildfires are human-caused fires. You've seen multiple reports of arson happening because of the fires. And let's be honest, outside of politics, what have we seen in Portland? What have we seen in Seattle? What have we seen at many major liberal protests this year? We've seen fire, things getting lit on fire, people getting lit on fire, people lighting themselves on fire, people lighting Starbucks on fire, people lighting police precincts on fire, people throwing fire at federal buildings, people lighting fire to innocent people's businesses. So is it really that crazy to suggest that people are purposely burning the forests? Well, I mean, of course it's not. And if you're like G. Edward Griffin or myself and read the actual literature and ideology that these people subscribe to, you know that it's a very big possibility, but the mainstream media, social media, and politicians all subscribe to the same political ideology that wants to censor, silence, and destroy any opposition that questions them, tells the truth or looks into real science that they don't care about. They scream science, science, the science, but they don't really care about science. They care about politics more than science. Joe Rogan, who even admits he votes left, left Los Angeles for Texas. There's a mass exodus from New York and Los Angeles because of very poor management of the city. I left Los Angeles. Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro left Los Angeles with his team for Tennessee. This is the city that I lived in for eight years. Trash everywhere, tents everywhere. Democrats in these areas just seem completely incapable of running a city properly. They can't stop trash, they can't stop tents, they can't stop arson. When people light recycling yards on fire and the city gets smoked out by plastic, they don't even mention it. They just scream climate change and people are dumb enough to believe them. So of course it's plausible that people are purposely lighting the forests on fire when people all over the country are purposely lighting things on fire and they don't care about innocent people they don't care about your life they don't care about your business they don't seem to care about any ethnicity they just use certain ethnic groups to push forward their political agenda so if you fight against them they say oh you don't think black lives matter oh are you racist are you sexist are you anti-semitic are you islamophobic these are the games that they play to push forward their politics and sometimes they even use younger minors so if you disagree with it they're like oh you don't like little kids it's disgusting and one of the idols of the communist left is Karl Marx so I read his book the communist manifesto they think for some reason he's fighting for the lower and the working class against the upper class but in his own manifesto it says he believes in a centralization of credit in the hands of the state by means of a national bank with a state capital and an exclusive monopoly. He also believes in centralization of the means of communication and transport in the hands of the state. So in other words, complete control of communication, complete control of money. That's why Vladimir Lenin said, the establishment of a central bank is 90% of communizing a nation. Because once you control the money, it's not hard to control the rest. So they really think a guy who wrote a book who said, give somebody all the money and give somebody all the means of communication, aka no free speech, is somebody that's fighting for the working class and the lower class? Obviously not. Anybody with a brain and common sense would understand that. But people who follow this ideology clearly don't have common sense. That's why they're being used, manipulated, and brainwashed to sow destruction, chaos, and dysfunction throughout our country. And it's not a conspiracy theory 
theory that people are lighting fires all over the place. It's basic observable reality, which is a threat to their lies. So when you use common sense and have basic observable reality, they can't stand it. And to anybody that thinks that this is a threat to power, why are most major banks, most sports league, most major corporations, McDonald's, Amazon, all these big corporations that you think you're fighting, why do you think they support your activism? Why do you think they're covering up in the media and making excuses for the terrorism and insurrection that's happening in our major cities? If you're such a threat to the billionaire class, to the banks, and to the corporations, why do they all support you? It's because communism never was a threat to the big people at the top. It's exactly what they want. Complete control of the money, complete control of communication. This is a tyrant's dream and they're all loving it. So just to wrap this up, hopefully you enjoyed that clip at the beginning. Of course, it's obvious and plausible that people are purposely lighting these fires. It could be anybody, domestically, foreign, any enemy, domestic or foreign, could be behind this. But because of censorship, because the big corporations and the mainstream media is so intolerant to any sort of debate or discussion outside what they want to be true, which is rarely true, they have now become a tool of the oppressor, an anti-free speech tyrant, and they're destroying this country from within because as they lie, they block and stop people from from countering them. It's obviously plausible. Just like this woman who was on Tucker Carlson last night and said that she has proof about COVID-19. I'm not even gonna say what, cause they'll probably take my video down, these tyrants. And then Twitter censored her account. So these tech companies are working hand in hand with foreign tyrants who don't allow their people free speech. They protect China more than they protect our own country. Here's proof. They said, yeah, the Chinese government lied, but we can't take their posts down. But then when Trump, they said he lied, honestly, he didn't even lie, but they said, we could take his post down. So they're more favorable to communist China than they are to the United States of America. Something about this needs to change. We're being attacked from within. That's why when you suggest we're being attacked from within, they say you can't say we're being attacked from within because we are being attacked from within and they're in on it. So God bless you. God bless America and God bless your family. Let's recapture free speech and let's not allow these evil, wicked tyrants to destroy our country any more than they've already destroyed it. If you like my hat, you can get it at godblesshats.com or dreamrare.com. It's a really high quality hat made in the United States of America. And if you get it, I hope you enjoy it like many people already have. Have a good day. Taxes help you out with everything you give them. Yeah, yeah, the homeless getting bigger. Yeah.